Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Rama. I think it's more appro appropriate, right? Yes. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Okay. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Mm -hmm. Jai Radha Madhava Kunja Bihari Jai Radha Madhava Kunja Bihari Gopi Janna Balava Giri Varadhari Gopi Janna Balava Giri Varadhari Yasodhanam dana braja jana ram jana Yasodhanam dana braja jana ram jana Yamuna tera vanachari Yamuna tera vanachari Jai Radha Madhava Kunja Bihari Jai Radha Madhava Kunja Bihari Gopi Janna Balava Giri Varadhari Gopi Janna Balava Giri Varadhari Yasodhanam Dhanna Praja Janna Ram Janna Yasodhanam Dhanna Praja Janna Ram Janna Yamuna Tera Vanachati Jai Radha Madhava Radha Madhava Shirate Jai Radha Gopinata Radha Gopinata Shirate Jaya Radha Shama Sundar Radha Shama Sundar Shirathe Jaya Krishna Balaram Krishna Balaram Krishna Balaram Jaya Krishna Balaram
Jai Jagannath, Jai Jagannath, Jai Baladev, Jai Subhadra. Jai Gauranitai, 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 Jai Gauranitai. Jai Jai Prabhupad, 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 Jai Jai Prabhupad. Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prestaya Bhutale Shimate Bhakti Vedanta Swami Mutinamine Namaste Saraswati Deve Gauravani Pracharine Nirvisesa Sunyavadi Paschachade Satarine Om Ajnana Timirandasya Gyanam Gyana Salakaya Chaksurun Militam Jena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Shri Chaitanya Manovistam Stapitam Yena Bhutale Swayam Rupa Kadamayam Dadati Swapadam Tikam Vandeham Shri Guru Shri Chuta Padakamalam Shri Guru Vaishnavam Shcha Shri Rupam Sagrajatam Sahagana Ragunatam Ditam Tam Sajeevam Sadvaitam Sadvadhutam Parijana Sahitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Radha Krishna Padam Sahagana Lalita Sivisakam Bitamscha He Krishna Karuna Sindho Dina Vando Jagatpate Gopesa Gopika Kanta Radha Kanta Namostate Tapta Kanchana Gaurangi Radhe Vrindavanispari Visabhanu Sute Devi Pranamami Hari Priye Vanchakalpataruvyascha kripa svinduvya evacha patitanam pavanebhyo vaishnadevyo namo namaha Jaya Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadadhar Shiva Shadi Gauravakta Vinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna Goranga Joy Nithai So for the preparation that we are having for tomorrow's big festival here at ISKCON Baltimore, New Kulinagram. We'll be reading from the Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita, Madhyalila, Chapter 13, The Static Dancing of the Lord at Ratayatra. So... I'll read the summary. A summary of this chapter is given by Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur in his Amrita Pravaha Bhasha as follows. After bathing early in the morning, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu saw the deities Jagannath, Baladev, and Subhadra get aboard their three cars. 
This function is called Pandu Vijay. At that time, King Prataparudra took a broom with a golden handle and began to cleanse the road. Lord Jagannath took permission from the goddess of fortune and then started in the car for the Gondicha temple. The road to the temple led along a broad sandy beach and on both sides on the road of the road were residential quarters, houses, and gardens. Along that road, the servants called Godas began to pull the cars. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu divided his Sankirtan party into seven divisions. With two Mridangas in each division, there were altogether 14 Mridangas. While performing Kirtan, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu exhibited various symptoms of transcendental ecstasy. And Lord Jagannath and Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu exchanged their feelings very blissfully. When the cars reached the place known as Balagandi, the devotees offered the deities simple food. At that time, in a nearby garden, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and his devotees took a brief rest from the dancing. The text one. Sri Jayat Krishna Chaitanya Sri Ratagarena Nartaya Yena Sij Jagatam Chitram Jaganatopi Vishmita May the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Sri Krishna Chaitanya, who dance in front of the car of Sri Jagannath, be all glorified. By seeing his dancing, not only was the whole universe held in wonder, but Lord Jagannath himself became very much astonished. Next text. Jai Jai Sri Krishna Chaitanya Nityananda Jai Advaita Chandra Jai Gaura Bhakta Vrinda All glories to Sri Krishna Chaitanya and Prabhu Nityananda All glories to Advaita Chandra and all glories to the devotees of Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Next text Aradina Mahaprabhuhana Savadhana Ratri Utigana Sange Kaila Pratashnana. The next day, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and his personal associates. Oh, did I miss? Sorry. Jump. Jaya Srotagana Shuna Kari Ekamana Ratayatraya Nitya Prabhura Paramohana. All glories to the listeners of Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita. Please hear the description of the dancing of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu at the Ratha Yatra festival. His dancing is very enchanting. Please hear of it with great attention. Aradina Mahaprabhu Hana Swadhana Ratri Uti Gana Sangi Kaila Pratashnana the next day, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and his personal associates got up in the dark and attentively took their early morning baths. Pandu Vijaya Deki Bare Karila Gamana Jagannatha Yatra Kaila Chade Shinghashana Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and his personal associates then went to see the ceremony of Pandu Vijay. During this ceremony, Lord Jagana leaves his throne and gets up onto the car. Apani Prataparudra Lana Patragana Mahaprabhura Gane Karaya Vijaya Darshana King Prataparudra in person as well as his entourage allowed the Pandu Vijay ceremony to be seen by all the associates of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Next text. 
Adwaita nitai ade sange bhakta gana. Suke Mahaprabhu deke isvara gamana. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and his prominent devotees, Adwaita Acharya, Nichananda Prabhu and others, were very happy to observe how Lord Jagannath began the Ratha Yatra. Balisla daita gana yena matahati Jagannatha vijaya karaya karihata hati the very strongly built daitas, carriers of Lord Jagannath, were as powerful as drunken elephants. They manually carried Lord Jagannath from the throne to the car. Purport by Srila Prabhupada, Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai. The word daita refers to one who has received the mercy of the Lord. Lord Jagannath has a number of stalwart servants known as Daitas. These servants do not come from very high caste families, Brahmanas, Satriyas, or Vaishyas, but because they are engaged in the service of the Lord, they have been elevated to a respected position. Thus, they are known as Daitas. These servants of the Lord of Lord Jagannath take care of the Lord from the day of the Snana Yatra up to the time the Lord is carried from the throne to the rat cart. In the Kshetra Mahatmya, these daitas are said to come from the Sabaras, a caste that keeps, the, keeps and sells pigs. However, among the daitas, there are also many who come from the Brahmana caste. Those Dayitas coming from the Brahmana families are called Dayita Patis or leaders of the Dayitas. The Dayita Patis are offer food such as sweetmeats to Lord Jagannath during the Anavasara, the resting period after Snana Yatra. They also make the early morning offering of sweetmeats daily. It is said that during the Anavasara, Lord Jagannath suffers from fever and that the Dayitapatis offer him an infusion of drugs represented by fruit juice. It is said that in the beginning, Lord Jagannath was worshipped by the Sabaras and was known as the deity Nila Madhava. Later, when the deity was established in the temple, the Lord became known as Jagannath. Because the deities were taken from the Sabaras, all the Sabara devotees were elevated to the position of Daitas. Yes, Jagannath is the Lord of the fallen conditioned souls. Patita Pavana. Is now named for Lord Jagannath, Patita Pavana, the savior of the fallen conditioned souls. So these carriers of Lord Jagannath, we've seen them um, videos. Hmm. Never been there for the actual Ratha Yatra day. Maharaj, you have been there for the actual Ratha Yatra? Yeah, so it must be ecstatic. They would carry this. Um, they would tie a rope to Lord Jagannath, silken cloth to carry him manually, manually before uh, going to his cart. And uh, hundreds of them playing the gong. You know, they have, they're all um, doing it in unison. And these carriers, as we heard from here, are from descendants of the original carriers. And some of them were very low class. Um, they keep and sells pigs, mm, sabaras. 
and some of them are coming from the Brahma Brahminical family who are considered as the leader, the Dayita Patis, Brahmana, leaders of the Dayitas. So every year, whenever the Lord will come, along with his elder brother, Lord Balaram, and their younger sister, Subhadra, this is how it's done. And it's like when they carry Lord Jagannath, it's like as if Lord Jagannath is dancing, go up and down, or forward and backwards, forward and backwards. It's not like they carry the Lord slowly, and you know, being careful. No, we cannot imitate them. Um, I'm sure when they bring Lord Jagannath, because Lord Jagannath right now, Baladeva and Subhadra are still in seclusion, having their uh, this ceremony called Anavasara. Uh, this is the resting time for them because they're supposed to have fallen sick few weeks ago, almost two weeks. It will be two weeks tomorrow, two weeks ago. Um, they'll be taken care of by the pujaris, um, bringing them some foodstuffs that will, because supposedly they catch colds and um, the different kinds of uh, juices it's been offered to them. I've seen also the other day I was given uh, Mahapasad Chawan Prash. <laughs> like Chawan Prash. Well, in India, we take Chawan Prash during uh, winter season to uh, increase the strength of the lungs. Because uh, winter time, it's very easy to get sick, fall sick. Um, they gave him also honey. I've heard the other day, some honey. And nice kichiri prasad, uh, no spices, just plain kichiri. Simple, mm. because if you have colds and if you eat spicy food stuff, then you will get more colds. Mm. So the Lord, as part of his pastime is like this, to increase our love towards him. How can the Lord get sick? <laughs> He's transcendental. We get sick, but the Lord, transcendental form, body, he never gets sick. But for the pastime's sake, the Lord is supposed to get ill. And the intensity of the devotees, because the love towards the Lord is increasing day by day by day until that day when the Lord will give his darshan, uh, not just to the devotees in the temple, but also go out and give darshan to the conditioned souls. And we, we were talking about that the other day, that anyone who, who have darshan of the Lord on the day of the Ratha Yatra, then they will also go back home, back to Godhead. The door is open for them for liberation. Of course, they still have to practice bhakti yoga. They still have to chant Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. They still have to dance in front of the Lord. Um, but even a person who is like out of arrangement by chance that he was there at the time of Ratha Yatra and see the Lord with his big, huge, smiling face with huge two eyes. Um, we get blessed at the mercy of the Supreme Lord. And hearing also the chanting of the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra from his devotees, then um, definitely they get this real mercy coming from the Supreme Lord. So that's tomorrow. And we'll have darshan of the Lord tomorrow. And these sabaras, they're very, very fortunate, knowingly, that they are serving the Supreme Lord. The Supreme Lord doesn't choose, oh, oh, oh you're in the lower caste. Mm -mm, you cannot serve me. Only those who are brahmanas, they can serve me. The Lord is equal to everyone. 
sa mohang sarbabute so na medyo siyo striya. Priya. Uh, he's equal to everyone. He is not uh, partial. He is impartial. Even the demons that he killed, they also got liberation. What to say of the devotees who serve the Supreme Lord wholeheartedly without any thing or any, any tinge of material desire and fully surrendered, sacrifice everything for the pleasure of the Supreme Lord. The reciprocation of the Supreme Lord towards them is unlimited. They can receive love of God. Next text. Kataka daita kareshkanda alambana Kataka daita dareshi padma charana while carrying the deity of Lord Jagannath, some of the daitas took hold of the shoulders of the Lord and some caught his lotus feet. Of course, how can he caught his lotus feet? The Lord doesn't have feet there. <laughs> doesn't show, right? But they can carry, uh, took hold of his shoulders because his arm is like this, forward, so they can took hold of his uh, shoulders. This year's Ratha Yatra in Puri is 1st of July. We're having also Ratha Yatra in uh, Brindavan. Somehow we got the permission to hold Ratha Yatra in Mathura. It's, uh, yeah, Mathura is, Mathura is still in Brindavan. Um, how can we have Ratayatra in Vrindavan because the mood of Ratayatra is to bring back Krishna back to Vrindavan. So he's already in Vrindavan. But for festival, um, we're expecting thousands and thousands of uh, devotees there, the local Mathura Basis and Vrindavan Basis to uh, have darshan of the Lord. No one else in Vrindavan uh, does this kind of Ratiyatra. I remember a long time ago we did. Well, every year we're doing it, but not mm, last two years. But previously, uh, even some members of the Gaudiamat devotees, they also joined us in that uh, Ratiyatra. Hmm. Did we read this already? Kati. Kati tati vada dridha stula pata dori duidhi kidai tagana utayata dari. Yes, we read that. We did not? Okay. The Lord Jagannath deity was bound at the waist by a strong, thick rope made of silk. Yeah, silk. From two sides, the daitas caught hold of this rope and raised the deity. In our ratayatras here in the West also, we, in order for the Lord to be protected, we also tie some rope around his waist uh, so that to protect the Lord from um, not being damaged going forward. Next text. Uchadridha tuli savapati stani stani. Eka tuli haite twaraya ara tuli ani. Strong, puffed up cotton pads called tulis were spread out from the throne to the car. And the heavy deity of Lord Jagannath was carried from one pillow like pad to the next by the daitas. Hmm. So that for the comfort of the Lord, they will have these big puffed up cotton pads, pillows. So he will not touch also the ground. But I didn't see that during the, the videos. Maybe uh, 500 years ago they had this uh, kind of, yeah, it is. This is how Lord Jagannath is being carried from one place to the next. They're heavy. Even 
Our Lord Jagannath here will be very heavy, made of nim, nim wood. And every 12 years, Lord Jagannath is being changed, Navakalevaram, where they, they have a, like a scout or a person who will go and search for where the nim tree is located. And there are some signs in the wood, nim tree, chakra is there, and some other symbols, and also it's been guarded by a snake. Hmm? So when they see when they see that there's a snake here, and then the some of these symbols are in the uh, tree, that is the right one. And it's a very, very uh, elaborate uh, ritual that uh, is being performed before cutting, even before cutting the tree to bring to, to uh, back to Jagannath temple. Mm -hmm. Prabhu, mm? oh no, no, we read this again. <laughs> Text 13. Bisvambara Jagannate ke chalaiti pare apana ichayak chale kariti vihare you didn't read that one, Maharaj? What's that? Okay, <laughs> yeah, well, it's just. Okay. Prabhu Vadagati Tulihaya Kanda Kanda Tula Sabha Udiyaya Sabda Haya Prachanda. While the Daitas carry the heavy Jagannath deity from one pad to the next, some of the pads broke and the cotton contents floated into the air. When they broke, they made a heavy cracking sound. Hmm. Must be what a scene, like seeing all those cotton. Bismambara jaganate ke chalaiti pare apana ichayak chale kariti vihare Lord Jagannath is the maintainer of the whole universe the meaning of Bishmambar. Who can carry him from one place to another? The Lord moves by his personal will just to perform his pastimes. Hmm. Yeah, who can carry the Lord? He's the one who is maintaining everyone. So who can carry him? So out of pastimes only that the Lord let himself to be carried. Text 14. Mahaprabhu manima manima karidwani nanabadya kola hale kichui nashuni. While the Lord was transported from the throne to the car, tumultuous sounds were made and various musical instruments. Sri Chaitanya Mo Mahaprabhu was chanting manima manima, but he could not be heard. Purport, the word manima is used to address a respectable person in Orissa. Lord Jagannath was being respectfully addressed by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Tabe pratapa rudrakare apane shebana shubarna marjane lana kare patasha marjana While the Lord was being carried from the throne to the car, King Prataparudra personally engaged in the Lord's service by cleansing the road, the road with a broom that had a golden handle. Very humble of the king. Chandana jalite kari patani shichane tucha seva kari vasi raja simhasane the king sprinkled the road with sandalwood scented water. Although he was the honor of the royal throne, he engaged in menial service for the sake of Lord Jagannath. Hmm. Mahaprabhu Shuka Paila Sesava se, Sesava. Was that? We missed again? Seventeen. 
उत्तमान रजा कर करे तुच सेवान इताइवा जगन तेरा कृपा रबजान Although the king was the most exalted, respectable person, still he accepted menial service for the Lord. He therefore became a suitable candidate for receiving the Lord's mercy. Hmm. Text 18. Mahaprabhu shuka paila se seva dekite Mahaprabhu ra kripa haila se seva haite Upon seeing the king engage in such menial service, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu became very happy. Simply by rendering this service, the king received the mercy of the Lord. I will read the purport. Unless one receives the mercy of the Lord, he cannot understand the Supreme Personality of Godhead or engage in his devotional service. Atapi te deva padam buja dvaya prasada lesana gruhita evahi janati tatvang bhagavang mahimno nachanya eko pi chirang vichinban. A devotee who has received even a small fraction of the mercy of the Lord can understand him. Others may engage in theoretical speculation to understand the Lord. But they cannot know anything about him. Although Maharaj Prataparudra was very eager to see Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, the Lord refused to see him. But when Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu saw the king engage in menial service for Lord Jagannath, he became very happy. Thus, the king became eligible to receive Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's mercy. If a devotee accepts Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu as the universal guru and Lord Jagannath as the supreme personality of Godhead Krishna, he is benefited by the combined mercy of Krishna and Guru. That is stated by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in his instructions to Rupa Goswami. Chaitanya Charitamrita Majalila Chapter 19 Text 151 Brahmanda Brahmite Kona Bhagyavan Jeev Guru Krishna Prasadi Pai Bhakti Lata Bij. The seed of devotional service fructifies and becomes a transcendental creeper. Finally, it reaches the lotus feet of the Lord in the spiritual sky. This seed is obtained by the mercy of the Lord and the Guru. By the Lord's mercy, one gets the association of a bona fide guru, and by the mercy of the guru, one gets a chance to render devotional service. Devotional service, the science of bhakti yoga, carries one from this material world to the spiritual world. So, previously, pra King Prataparudra would like to have the darshan of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Jai. But somehow, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu being a sannyasi, he doesn't want to give darshan to a worldly, any worldly personality. That this was the chance for Maharaj Prataparudra um, to show that he is really eager to have the mercy from Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Lord Jagannath, both at the same time. The king will not, generally, the king will not do this kind of menial service to sweep the floor with a golden broom or a golden hand. The broom has a golden hand. So after this also the became a tradition that all the kings following in the footsteps of King Prataparudra that before uh, the start of the Ratayatra, the king also will do it. And even to this day, uh, the king of Orissa, even though the kings, they don't have much power now, their power has been taken away by the government. 
it still is considered as a very exalted, very respectable personality, and he would do it also. In America also we do this. We have brooms, and uh, we have we tied up some kind of golden kind of uh, rope around, and uh, we would do that also. And everyone would like to uh, do it. Everyone would like to take part of that uh, menial service for the pleasure of the Supreme Lord. For without the mercy of the spiritual master, one cannot uh, receive the mercy of the Supreme Lord. So he wants to get the mercy of the Supreme Lord through Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. But Maharaj Prataparudra, he understood also that Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is none different than Lord Jagannath. Hmm. So we will read later on how uh, how many kirtan parties are there? Seven. Seven. How many midangas? Two midangas. <laughs> Fourteen altogether, yes. And um, Maharaj Pr Prataparudra, he's the only person who had the privilege and mercy of the Supreme Lord, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, to see Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu being present in all of those seven kirtans, kirtan groups. Huh? Everyone is thinking, oh, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is only with our kirtan group. Mm. Others, they don't know. That actually Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he expanded himself into as many kirtan groups there are. And Lord Chaitanya will be dancing, jumping up and down. Just like we were reading yesterday about the Ratha Yatra in London in July of 1973. In Melbourne also, Australia, Prabhupada. Uh, was attending that Ratha Yatra and Prabhupada refused to sit on the Vyasasan, which is prepared for him. Um, he rather go along with the uh, devotees hmm, to take part, dance and chant and raise raised hands just like Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So yes, this is very important how without the mercy of the Supreme Lord's pure devotee, then we cannot get the mercy simultaneously. Without the mercy of the Supreme Lord, we don't meet his pure devotee. And then when we meet the pure devotee and serve him without any condition, unconditionally, then we'll get the mercy of the Supreme Lord more and more. And this is being shown in this pastime with Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Prataparudra Maharaj. Next text. Ratera sajani deke loke chamatkara nabahena hemamaya rata sumero akara Everyone was astonished to see the decorations on the rat car. The car appeared to be the newly to be newly made of gold and it was as high as Mount Sumeru. Yeah. It's like uh, in London, the first Rat Theatre. Maharaj, you were there? Yeah, and uh, it, it was parked near the, that Nelson column, and then that is uh, rivaled that uh, column in Trafalgar Square. But the cart of Lord Jagannath is far more superior. Purport in the year 1973. Ah, there you go, Prabhupada Prabh Prabh uh, put that in his. In the year 1973, there was a gorgeous Ratayatra festival in London, England, and the car was brought to Trafalgar Square. The London daily newspaper, The Guardian, published a front page caption, Istkon Ratayatra is rival 
to the Nelson Column in Trafalgar Square. The Nelson Column is a very impressive statue of Lord Nelson's and can be seen from the a good distance just as the residents of Puri compared the Rataya car to Mount Sumeru, the residents of London considered the car rival to the Nelson Monument. I did not read the purport, but somehow um, I remember this. The residents, it says also that the residents of Jagannath Puri, the demigods, they see them as having forearm forms. The residents of Jagannath Puri, very exalted. Dambazis. Hmm. So the Nelson column is very, very popular, but no comparison to the Ratayatra card of Lord Jagannath. And it's a big, big headline. The Guardian. Yes, Maharaj, you were there. <laughs> we defeated Lord Nelson, yes. He must be like uh, so proud and he's always like saying it to his disciples or to, to, to the guest. Hmm? Next text. Shata shata su chumara darpane ujwala upare pataka sobhe chandoya nirmala. Hmm. The decorations included bright mirrors and hundreds and hundreds of chamaras, white whisks made of yak tails. On top of the car were a neat and clean canopy and a very beautiful flag. Hmm. Pataka. And this is why we have one of our main leaders in ISKCON, Jaya Pataka Swami. Prabhupada gave that name. Next text. Gagara kin kini baje gantara kwanita. Nana Chitra Pata Vastre Rata Bibushita. The car was also decorated with silken cloth and various pictures. Many brass bells, gongs, and ankle bells rang. Lilaya Chadila Iswara Ratera Upara. Aradui Rate Chade Subhadra Haladhara. For the pastimes of the Ratayatra ceremony, Lord Jagannath got aboard one car and his sister Subhadra and older brother Balaram got aboard two other cars. Panchadasadina Isvara Mahalaksmilana Tanrasange Grita Kaila Nibrite Vashiya. For 15 days, the Lord had remained in a secluded place with the Supreme Goddess of Fortune and had performed his pastimes with her. Purport. The 15-day period of Anavasara is also called Nibrita, in honor of the solitary place where the Supreme Goddess of Fortune lives. After leaving there a fortnight, Lord Jagannath took permission from the Goddess of Fortune to live. Hmm. Ideal husband. Asking permission from the wife to go. Tanara samati lana bhakti sukadite rate chadi bahira haila bihara karite. Having taken permission from the goddess of fortune, the Lord came out to ride on the rata car and perform his pastimes for the pleasure of the devotees. Purport. In this connection, Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasvati Thakur comments that as an ideal husband, 
Lord Jagannath remained 15 days in a secluded place with his wife, the supreme goddess of fortune. Nonetheless, the Lord wanted to come out of seclusion to give happiness to his devotees. The Lord enjoys himself in two ways, known as Swakiya and Parakiya. The Lord's conjugal love in the Swakiya Ras relates to the regulative principles observed in Dwarka, where the Lord has many married queens. But in Vrindavan, the conjugal love of the Lord is not with his married wives, but with his girlfriends, the gopis. Conjugal love with the gopis is called Parakiya Ras. Lord Jagannath leaves the secluded place where he enjoys the company of the Supreme Goddess of Fortune in Swakiyaras, and he goes to Vrindavan where he enjoys the Parakiyaras. Bhaktisiddhanta Saraswati Thakur therefore reminds us that the Lord's pleasure in Parakiyaras is superior to his pleasure in Swakiyaras. In the material world, parakiyaras or loving affairs with unmarried girlfriends is the most degraded relationship. But in the spiritual world, this type of loving affair is considered the supreme enjoyment. In the material world, everything is but a reflection of the spiritual world, and that reflection is perverted. We cannot understand the affairs of the spiritual world on the basis of our experience in the material world. The Lord's pastimes with the gopis are therefore misunderstood by mundane scholars and word wranglers. The parakiyaras of the spiritual world should not be discussed except by one who is very advanced in pure devotional service. The parakiyaras in the spiritual world and that in the material world are not comparable. The former is like gold and the later is like iron. Because the difference between the two is so great, they cannot actually be compared. However, just as a knowledgeable person can easily distinguish gold from iron, one who has the proper realization can easily distinguish the transcendental activities of the spiritual world from material world. This is very high. But just as a comparison, two metals were given as an example. Uh, yes, Prabhupada says that the material world is a perverted reflection of the spiritual world. The spiritual world is original and the material world is duplicate. Up to a certain extent, uh, that love can be also seen to a certain degree, but real love only is applicable towards the Supreme Lord and his devotees. And in the material world, uh, the love is compared to the love of the mother towards the child. That is as close as we can uh, imagine or see that love. There are two kinds of love, that uh, Swakiya and Parakiya. Swakiya means with awe and reverence, following regulative principles observed in Dwarka, and Parakiya is spontaneous, beyond moral values, be beyond any rules and regulations, that even the gopis who are the best example for this love of towards the Supreme Lord, that uh, some of them are even married and they have children and they run towards the Supreme Lord, even in the middle of the night when they heard the Lord's playing his flute, the fifth note. So Lord Jagannath, um, uh, as an ideal husband, he was with Lakshmi Devi for 15 days, and but still he has to uh, ask for permission to go out, to go to Gundicha, Gundicha Mandir. Uh, it's in a different mood going there, going to like to Vrindavan. So this is this is uh, Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur's 
comment. It's like now we are in in uh, in the tenth canto of the Srimad Bhagavatam in Vrindavan. We passed the thirteenth uh, chapter where the stealing of the cows and the cowherd boys. Uh, the last chapter that Srila Prabhupada commented upon. And uh, of course, it's nice to hear the different pastimes of the Supreme Lord after that being commented by the disciples of Srila Prabhupada. But then uh, I was wondering, I was there was some kind of like uh, whether we should go on after the 13th chapter, or shall we go back to the first canto? I was, I think I was the only one who said that we should go back to the first canto. Because when we reach the certain part of the Bhagavatam, especially uh, um, the gopis, Rasadans, five chapters, uh, who can speak unless one is uh <laughs> self-realized, but I, I, I ask one 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 disciple of Srila Prabhupada uh, what to do. Uh, w it's okay. We can we can go and read, and but it has to be done in a in the proper context. But then Prabhupada also mentions many places that it should not be discussed in public. Like Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he never discussed in public about the gopis. Especially the Rasa dance. Mostly, uh, even even in Jagannath Puri, he will he will discuss with with Gadadhar Pandit uh, the pastimes of Dhruva Maharaj and Palad Maharaj. So what to do? I, I was just thinking, what's going to happen when we reach that part? You know, like uh, the Venu Gita and all these things. Hare Krishna Maharaj. Yes. Yeah. Well, Krishna book is a summary. Uh, Prabhupada, he thought that he will not be able to finish the whole Srimad Bhagavatam, his translation. So he says, at least let me give. Because the 10th canto is the smiling lotus face of Lord Krishna. It is a gradual. But Prabhupada, he, he jumped immediately because he thought, uh, at least let me give. The Krishna book, the tenth canto. And if we read the tenth canto also, I mean Prabhupada, um, he wrote it in a in a, in a very easily understandable language and but the, the purports, some of the purports of the Acharyas are not included. Some are included, but it's it's difficult to speak on the tenth canto of the Srimad Bhagavatam because of course, some of them, Prabhupada also made commentaries in the Chaitanya Charitamrita. So it's just like go back and forth. Prabhupada says in the Chaitanya Charitamrita, yes. But then practically every day he says, oh, the Acharya says this, the Acharya says that. But if you go back to the first canto, Prabhupada says, uh, I gave everything in the, the first canto of the Srimad Bhagavatam also. There is like there is a plus and there is like you know cons and pros in the tenth canto, and it takes about eleven years to to reach that part from the first canto to the tenth canto, thirteenth chapter. And I've been to a few temples where I stayed in Delhi. Also, we went back, and in Toronto, we went back. But it is also appropriate to read the uh, tenth canto of Srimad Bhagavatam in Vrindavan because you're in Vrindavan, the pastimes of Kaliya, Denokasura, Agasura, you know, killing of those different demons. But then my question again is that what will happen when we reach that part of the gopis? <laughs> you know. Yes. But do it in a in a proper, because you have to hear from a pure devotee also. We, it's okay. We can just repeat what we've heard or what we what we read. 
But it's not the same. The Prabhupada never touched speaking about the gopis. Maybe sometime, even Radharani's appearance day in Montreal, Radhastami, uh, he never talked about Radharani, only in the end he mentioned about Radharani. Who is Radharani? It so that's why we have to be uh, careful in this way. Because if you, especially if you, if you speak on that part, and this is being broadcasted all over the whole world, so it becomes, uh, people may think it is cheap. May think it's very cheap. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. There are many, many. Um, we have, we have Sridhar Swami, Sanatan Goswami, Jiva Goswami, Vishwana Chakravarti Thakur commented in the tenth canto. Um, my, my, my only, my. And my, my opinion is that, again, it has to be discussed in, in the proper context because we cannot be uh, too much talking about it and uh, we're not in that kind of level of realization. Then uh, we may uh, come to the platform of being sahaja here. That is my, my understanding. But let's see when we reach that, <laughs> that point. What's going to happen? I will stop here now because my battery also is need to be recharged. So we stop here, Maharaj. Thank you very much for your kind attention. Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai. Lord Jagannath Ki Jai. Baladev Subhadra Mai Ki Jai. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Ki Jai. Go Ranga. Join Nita.